Hello, welcome to Yoga and Rachel. Rach, thank you so much for joining me and happy full moon on Saturday. So at the moment we're focusing on a Taurus focused series. So we're getting really into a nice earthy routine down sequence. You might've had a go with the, the mudra and the mantra for week one, or you've had a go with the finding the fluidity and releasing to your neck for week two. So we're in week three, because we're also then going into the full moon, which is in Scorpio, we're gonna bring these two elements in together. So when we bring these together, we're bringing in an element of sensuality. Um, Taurus and Scorpio are very much a case of being aware of being in your body. Taurus tends to love it. It's all about those sensations, enjoying the good food and good uh, drink and enjoying their creature comforts. And Scorpio, uh, if we're out of balance, can sometimes have difficulties enjoying like the earthy experience being in the body. So we want to take our time, even though we're going through a vinyasa flow, we want to take our time going through the movements and finding that fluidity um, and enjoying the sensations in your practice. So finding a comfortable seat, so you might have the legs crossed, you might even have a block or a pillow or a cushion underneath the tailbone. Try and find what feels comfortable for you. Sitting up nice and tall, focusing on the breath, you might come back to the Apana Mudra that we were working on on week one, or maybe you've got the hands resting onto the knees, the thighs, or into the lap, focusing on the breath. Or again, you might come to the uh, the mantra I have for Taurus. So focusing on the I have. Remember, Taurus is all about the, what they possess, that possession. They rule the second house when we look at our natal chart. So it's not a case of what I have to do after my practice. It's what do you have right now? Or what is it you're wanting to accomplish from your yoga practice? It's that I have that fluidity in my body. If you are in the, the mudra, the apana mudra, the hand gesture, just stay there for a few breaths and then release the hands down into the lap or the thighs, the knees. Just placing the left hand down, you might be on the fingertips, the fist or the palm of the hand, just beside your left leg, reaching the right arm up and then over to the left. And do bend into the left elbow. Check that you keep that space between the left ear and the left shoulder. Slowly lifting all the way back up, place the right hand down, fingertips, fist or palm of the hand, left arm lifts up and over to the right. So bending into the elbow, find that space into the neck shoulders. One more each side, slowly lifting up, over to the left, right arm lifts, slow lifting up, right hand down, left arm lifts, over to the right. Slowly lifting back up. So placing your block or your pillow or your cushion to one side, Finding your way into tabletop about the middle of the mat, spread the fingertips nice and wide. Starting with some slow cat curls. Inhale, lift the chin to the tailbone. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Tuck the chin the tailbone under. Stay with the breath. Inhale, lift the chin to the tailbone. Exhale, rounding through the spine. Tuck the chin the tailbone under. When you're ready, starting to check in with downward dog, tuck under the toes, draw the shoulders back, pull the belly back to the thighs, keep the knees bent so we're focusing on finding that release into the neck, the shoulders, the back, rather than pushing into the legs. But you're welcome to have a little walk on the spot, bend one knee then straighten, bend the other knee then straighten, but keep any movement you're inviting here slow and purposeful. So we're not doing it just for the sake of doing it, we're just trying to find that release, finding that nice sensation that you get in your body when you find that point of that right stretch, that right place. 
space to find that release in the skin and body. Slowly lowering down, just have a little pause in child's pose, or if you prefer puppy pose. So child's pose for the tailbone back, or puppy pose, keep the tailbone lifted, forehead resting on the mat. and wide to kind of the toes lifting into downward facing dog. Stepping the feet together, inhale, see how slowly you can lift that right leg back and up, down dog splits. As you exhale, bring the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, placing your right foot in between the hands, bring your left knee down behind the hips. Keep drawing the hips forward, check that you're not dumping or dropping into the hip joints. Focusing on the breath, tuck the chin in so you're looking down towards the mat. Lifting your left knee, we're going to keep the left hand on the mat, you're going to turn the right toes to the right, look through to your left foot and drop your left heel to the left, so the toes are pointing to the right, and lifting your right arm up going into a twist. You're welcome to stay here for a few breaths, or as you exhale, start to drop the left hip down, point the right fingertips to the back of the mat. As you inhale, lift up, and you might stretch that right arm over your head. As you exhale, dropping the left hip, point the fingertips towards the back of the mat. Inhale, lifting up and over. Last one, if you're moving, lower. And lifting up, turning the toes, so the feet are facing forward, bring the right hand down. Bring the left knee down and walk the right foot over to the left, drop the right knee down in between the hands. Start to stretch the left leg back. You might stay on the fingertips or the fists for this one. As you inhale, gently lift the chin. As you exhale, start to lower down towards the mat. Don't let your forehead find the mat. As you inhale, lift back up. Keep the movement nice and slow. As you exhale, start to wave through the spine down towards the mat. Don't let your forehead find the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. So we're going to do two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last four. One and two. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting. We're going to tuck under the left toes, lift the knee. Lift the right knee to the belly. Push the right foot back into the plank. Pull the shoulders back. Push the tailbone high. Might need to move the feet slightly, bend into the knees, downward facing dog. Stepping the feet together, inhale, see how slowly you can lift that left leg back and up. Exhale, bring the knee into the belly, pull the shoulders forward, placing the left foot in between the hands. Lower the right knee down, finding your way into low lunge. Keep drawing the hips forward, check you're not dropping in or dumping into the hip. So we're drawing forward, but not dropping down. Keep the chin tucked into the chest, so you're looking down towards the mat. Focusing on the breath. Lifting the right knee, and keep the right hand down, turn the left toes to the left. Look through to the right foot and drop the heel to the right. And start to turn to the left, lifting the left arm up into a twist. You're welcome to stay here for a few breaths. Or exhale, lower the right hip down, point the left fingertips to the back of the mat. Inhale, lifting up, from there you might reach the left arm over your head. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. Last one, exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting up, bring the left hand down, turning the feet around. Bring the right knee down. Walk the left foot to the right, slide the foot back to bring the knee down in between the hands and moving into pigeon pose, stretch the right leg back. Inhale, start to lift the chin, lift the chest. Exhale, lower down towards the mat. Don't let the forehead meet the mat as you inhale, lifting up. 
And as you exhale, slow down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower. Down towards the mat. Inhale, lift. Tuck under the right toes to lift the right knee. Lift the left knee to the belly, push the left foot back into plank, pull the shoulders back, push the tailbone high, downward facing dog. Have a little walk on the spot. From here, we're going to have a go with some knee circles. So you're going to inhale, slowly lift the right leg back and up. Exhale, bend the knee. From here, stay in downward dog for movements in the hip and the leg only. You're going to bring the knee into the belly. Push it out to the right and around and back up. Into the belly, out to the right, around and back up. Last one, into the belly. Push it out, around and back up. This time, pull the knee into the belly and bring the shoulders forward and lower the right knee down in between the hands. Left knee lowers, stretch the left leg back. And now we can go into our sleepy pigeon. Slowly lower down towards the mat, using any supports that you need to. So you might rest the fingertips or the fists underneath the chin. You might have one hand on top of the other. It might be comfortable for you to stay lifted to keep the chin tucked in towards the chest like we were in our low lunge. But find what feels comfortable in the neck and the shoulders. So you're not pushing the shoulders into the ears, you're collapsing down. Focusing on the breath. Do the time, you slowly lift back up. Leave the right leg where it is and start to slide the left knee towards your right foot. And then sitting down onto the tailbone and stretch the left leg out in front of you. So have a little bit of a wiggle around on the tailbone. So your right knee is still bent, the left leg is extended out in front of you. And we're just going to start to turn the belly towards the right knee. Press the left arm onto the left leg, so it might be on the thigh or the shin. So you place the right hand to the right shoulder, pulling the elbow up towards the ceiling. From there, you might stretch the right arm up. Either staying here or as you exhale, start to reach or stretch the right arm towards the left leg. And then inhale, lift the right arm back up. Exhale over without twisting the belly towards the left leg, so still looking to the side. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, lift, last one, exhale, inhale, lifting back up, we're going to bend the left knee, slide the left foot towards the left hip, place the hands down as you lift briefly through tabletop and into plank, pull the shoulders back, lift the tailbone high, downward facing dog. Stepping the feet together, slowly lift the left leg back and up, down dog splits. Bending into the knee, find those knee circles. So stay in downward dog, it's only the hip and the leg that's moving. Bring the knee into the belly, push it out to the left, back round and up. Pull the knee into the belly, push it back, sorry, out to the left and back round and up. Last one, knee into the belly, push it to the left, out round and up. This time as you bring the knee into the belly, now pull the shoulders forward and place the left knee in between the hands. Bring the right knee down, stretch the right leg back and lift into pigeon pose. Starting to lower down into your sleepy pigeon. So finding that support when you need it, make sure it feels comfortable in your neck and your shoulders. Check the back staying flat, not rolling to, any, to either side or putting any pressure or weight into the knee.
who's sitting. So let's just slide the right knee towards the left foot, sit the tailbone down, stretch the right leg out in front of you, have a little wiggle around with the tailbone. So you still have the left knee bent, sitting up nice and tall. This time turning to your left and looking towards the left knee. Right arm can rest onto the right thigh or to the right shin and lift the left arm up. So you might place the hand onto the left shoulder, lifting the elbow up towards the ceiling or reach the left straight up. From here, we can start to reach over towards the right foot or working with the breath as you exhale. Going into that side stretch, inhale, lifting the arm back up. Exhale into the side stretch, inhale, lifting back up. Exhale into the side stretch. Inhale, lifting back up. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. As you exhale, over to the side stretch. Inhale, lifting back up. Slide the right arm up. Bend the right knee. Take the right foot towards the right hip. Place the hands onto the mat. Lift the tailbone briefly. Move into tabletop. Extend the leg back into plank. Pull the shoulders back. Push the tailbone high, downward facing dog. Have a little wiggle through the legs if you wish. Just focus on drawing the chest and the belly back towards the thighs. Slowly lowering down. Either finding puppy pose or into child's pose. You're welcome to stay in child pose. You might find your way up to sitting and complete your practice there, or you might have a go with one of the other sequences I'm going to pop into the end here. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you get out and see the full moon at the weekend, and I shall see you next week. Namaste.